One piece of news that's been getting quite a bit of attention is it was recently reported that there's a few UK children who have been born from a method that is called mitochondrial replacement theory. I think a lot of people are com- calling it three-person in vitro fertilization. So basically, the first UK children have now been born using DNA from three different parents. Um, I wanted to throw this your way um, as a biologist. What's your reaction to this? And, and do you have concerns? One of the concerns about this from a scientific perspective is that you, you, we don't know the long-term consequences of this. So what do they do? So, you know, in uh, a woman's oocyte before it's mm. fertilized, right, you have the two types of DNA. You have nuclear DNA, right? We're 46 chromosomes, there's 23 from your mother, 23 from your father that you get. Um, But you also, in the oocyte, have mitochondrial DNA. So Mm. these mitochondria are little organelles um, that make energy for the cell. And the sperm doesn't contribute any, if at all. Um, So you get them from your mother, right? And so if the mitochondrial DNA is damaged in your mother, then your mitochondria are damaged and you can, you know, Mm. you're going to inherit that disorder. So the idea is to take another woman's oocyte, right? Um, Pull out her DNA, Mm. put the the mother's, the other mother's DNA in there. So now um, you have an oocyte that has the healthy mitochondrial DNA, that other woman's uh, wow. DNA, and then the sperm can fertilize that. Um, the problem is, you know, you're manipulating these these cells. You're, anytime you pull out the DNA, right, you're going to pull out other things that might be essential for development um, mm. or, and might affect development in adverse ways that you're not going to see right away. You might mm. show up three, four, five, six years down the road. Um, and uh, and the other thing is that whenever you pull out, you know, the, the DNA from the woman that has the mitochondrial defect, you sometimes pull out some of the mitochondria as well. And so you put some of the damaged mitochondria into the healthy um, uh, egg. It's usually a relatively small percentage, but there's some studies that show that uh, that can increase over time and that can mm. lead to some defects. So it's a it's a, a procedure that we don't really know all the risks there um, yeah. associated with it. And so you're, you're putting these children at risk of, of, of having sort of developmental defects later on uh, in life because we, we, don't, we just don't know.